Yo, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, consider dropping a like below and maybe even subscribing. So in today's video, I am gonna be walking you through my 2021 Forerunner and also Reverb's production vehicle. So this is the car we use for all different types of video shoots, um, hauling gear, shooting out the back window, all sorts of different stuff. But first, we need a change of scenery. That's better. Side note before we get started. Look at this view. It's a five minute drive from the office. It does not get much better than this. All right, well, without further ado, here is the rig. So this is a 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium. Now, I got this vehicle over others for a couple different reasons. So, reason one, in Bend, Oregon, it snows a lot. And my last vehicle was a two-wheel drive BMW. So not really the move. Do not recommend that for Bend, Oregon. And the 4Runner is probably one of the best vehicles in the snow with its four-wheel drive. And on top of that, having some good snow tires, all terrains definitely helps. Reason number two, I like to go camping, overlanding, off-roading. So I wanted a rig that could do all of that stuff and do it all really, really well. Last and definitely not least, reason number three, we need a solid production vehicle at Reverb Films. And this thing does it all. So we'll start with the walk around on the outside and then move inside after that. And as we go, I'm gonna talk about why I did certain things and how they're beneficial for all three of those reasons why I got this vehicle. So starting from the bottom and moving up, we have BFG KO2 tires. These things are obviously one of the most popular all-terrain tires that you can get, and especially on 4Runners, Jeeps, um, all types of off-road vehicles. So having a solid all-terrain off-road tire that is grippy and large, is super important for me for a couple different reasons. Central Oregon is super sandy, super rocky, and I like to go off-roading, I like to go camping, and so being able to have tires that can get me to all sorts of different places, to go adventure, to go see different parts of the area and explore is a must. On top of that, we do some remote filming at Reverb Films. One of the upcoming videos that you'll see on this channel is a behind the scenes of a gravel bike, mountain bike video. And so for that, we had to hit some trails. We had to hit some dusty trails, some rocky trails. And so having tires that can handle those types of trails and do it relatively smoothly is super important for uh, filming and getting good shots. All right, so moving up from the tires, um, as you may or may not be able to see, this vehicle is lifted. It has a two and a half inch spacer kit in the front and then a two inch leveling kit in the back. And so the reason for that lift kit is again, to get to places that are hard to get to in Central Oregon, to be able to adventure, to be able to explore, to be able to get to locations to film at that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get to. So this lift kit provides some much needed additional clearance for this rig. And again, it really helps to get to places that are otherwise hard to get to and to get over some obstacles that uh, are gonna help us get to the most ideal spots for filming out in nature. So moving to the front now, lighting is super important for me. As you can see, we have two six inch rigid light bars in the grill, and then we have two rigid spotlight ditch lights uh, on the A pillars. These lights are great to have for camping when you're out adventuring at night. And on top of that, for doing night shoots, it's great to have this type of very powerful scene lighting when we are um, on location. 
All right, so moving to the top of the rig now, we have a Rhino Rack Pioneer platform. This platform is awesome. It holds like seven or 800 pounds. Plenty of capacity for all sorts of different tools, tents, equipment, etc. So currently up there, I have a variety of utility tools. I have a shovel, I have a couple of Max Tracks. Uh, I believe I have a Rotopax gas can up there. And then I also have a uh, chest up there that fits a bunch of different types of um, stuff from camping equipment to video equipment. Having all these tools up here provides quite a bit of peace of mind for when we're out in all types of rural environments. Um, if we get stuck, if another vehicle gets stuck, we have the tools and equipment up there to hopefully get us unstuck and get us out of there. All right, well that about wraps up the outside sewer. Now let's move inside and see what we're working with in there. So starting with the front of it, uh, pretty standard for a 4Runner. Not much has changed over the last 10 years. We have a nice big screen right there, um, a nice digital display up there. And then of course here are the toggle switches for the LED light bars and then also the ditch lights right there. These are super nice, easily accessible. I can see when they're on, when they're off, and they also blend into the OEM factory switches, which is nice. So my plan for the passenger seat eventually is to build some type of rig where we can mount a uh, small HD Teradek monitor where uh, director, producer, client, somebody can monitor as we're driving and uh, filming out the back or filming out the side of the car. This is something that I definitely wish we had. Um, currently, when we're doing shoots out of the vehicle, we usually just mount it to the dash somewhere, but um, having a dedicated rig that uh, we can fit a monitor in would be uh, pretty convenient, pretty nice. So one of the things that sold me on the TRD off-road over other models is the wide range of off-road features that this vehicle has. So in the snow, mud, um, off-road, anything that uh, you can throw at this thing, it will probably have something to cover it. So it has a rear diff locker, it has a track, and then obviously you can turn off traction control. Um, and then there is all different types of crawl control settings, which is uh, super nice. I haven't had the chance to use it yet, but uh, I'm excited for uh, maybe trying it out this summer. And then of course, the classic four-wheel shifter for the forerunner. So shifting down goes into four high, and then you throw it in neutral, shift it over to the right, that goes into four low. One thing that is always super important to me for a car is having a nice big sunroof. So the roof rack you can see kind of comes in a little bit, but oh well, you can still open it, get some nice ventilation, get some nice sunlight in during the daytime. Back seats are super spacious, um, can easily fit four to five people in here. And on top of that, the seats fold down super easily and give quite a bit of space back here to fit all sorts of gear. Lastly on the inside is the trunk. So I have a couple pieces of equipment in here that uh, I always carry no matter where I'm going, whether we're going on a shoot or whether we're going um, off-roading, camping, or just going on a day adventure. So first off, we have the recovery kit right here. This kit has all types of different recovery gear in here. If we get stuck, if another car gets stuck, um, if a car battery dies, if we break down, if we need to change a tire, all sorts of different stuff is in here for getting out of sticky situations. Then over here we have a combined uh, medical kit and survival kit. So there's a bunch of different stuff in here from emergency food, emergency water, and um, super importantly, we have a couple different first aid kits in here. These are a necessity for any type of shoot, especially out in a rural area where an emergency response or any type of medical response is gonna take quite some time. This right here is sort of a universal first aid kit that has all types of different band-aids, bandages, um, gauze, medications, all sorts of stuff like that. And then this right here is more of a trauma kit. This is for some really serious stuff. There's splints in there, there's quick clot, there's tourniquets, all sorts of different medical equipment for much more serious situations. So again, the first aid kits are a necessity for really anyone to have in their cars, but especially being in video production, being on a shoot. Um, a lot of times we are in places where there is not a hospital close by or something like that. And so having first aid kits and equally as important, knowing how to use them is a necessity for having in your rig, having in your camera bag, and just having on you whenever a medical situation may arise. So this by no means is an all-inclusive walkthrough of what's in this bag. But this last thing I wanna talk about is this little orange guy right here. So this is a Garmin InReach Mini. It gives a lot of peace of mind if you are going out into places where you may not have cell service. Um, this thing will communicate with satellites and you essentially have service anywhere in the planet um, as long as it can communicate with a satellite. So probably the most important feature of this device is the SOS feature. You can send out an SOS beacon 
to first responders, to search and rescue, and it will have your exact GPS coordinates and ultimately people uh, will know where to find you if you are in a really bad situation. So it's not cheap, but I would argue it is a life-saving piece of equipment for people going into the back country. So I hope this video was informative in some way. I hope it was helpful. I don't know if you are planning on buying a 4Runner, if you want to convert your vehicle to an overlanding, camping, off-roading rig, or if you want to find a good vehicle for video production. Regardless, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. Again, if you're new here, please consider dropping a sub, dropping a like below. It really helps us out. Uh, we're putting out a video every single week all around video production, video marketing, and a bunch of random stuff like this and a lot of other stuff. So thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.